I'm just uh, I'm just getting the uh, getting the info out. How's it going, mate? When I started making Mind of Steel last summer, I had precisely one viewer in mind. And it's nice that there are a few more viewers now. I, I love the fact that people are subscribing to this channel, but the only person I really cared about was Mark Steele himself. I wanted to make the show that would so perfectly push his buttons, that would trigger him, that would get under his skin and annoy him in the most precisely targeted way I could think of. And, and judging by one of Mark Steele's latest posts on BitChute, I think I've succeeded. Cult Satanists are obsessed. Look at the time and effort. This is a 24 hour psyop. This isn't a 24-hour PSYOP. It doesn't take 24 hours to make these videos. It's just a few evenings a week. And it's not a PSYOP. It's what I really think. It's what everybody really thinks about Mark Steele. He really is the idiot that I present in these videos. But it's nice to be appreciated, isn't it? Every single one. I mean, think of the work that's going into it. I mean, think of the effort to troll the fact that electromagnetic radiation causes pneumonia, flu type, or COVID-19 symptoms. Not a con and that's what I'm talking about. Mark Steele is still peddling the exact same nonsense that he made up three years ago. Everything he says has been completely debunked and already been shown to be a, a mad conspiracy theory, the product of a deranged imagination, completely unmoored from reality. I'm not here to be a debunker, though. If you want debunking, watch MC Toon, Simon Dan, or Mohammed Shafiq. They all do debunking way better than I ever could. I, I just want to take Mark's own words and hold him up to a more sceptical audience. I and I think everything that he does say is so inherently ridiculous that we know just by watching him that he is Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. Now there we have, now this character, right, at the top right, he's got his little pal with him there. And what she's pulling is a satanic symbol to all the others. So That's a screenshot from an episode of MC Toon's show from December of 2021. Back then, MC Toon only had a few thousand subscribers. Uh, today he has about a hundred thousand subscribers so his audience has been growing as Mark Steele's has been shrinking and the reason is because Mark Steele's zany antics are good content we've been able to create a lot of funny material out of just observing the, the crazy things that Mark Steele says and the reason is it's because he is Britain's most ludicrous least self-aware conspiracy theorist but uh, what does Mark do uh, as he dwindles into irrelevance? Well, the answer is he has to shout louder. He has to try harder. And in doing so, he makes himself even further a target of ridicule. That creates yet more opportunities for people like myself and MC Toon to continue reporting on him. It's a sort of virtuous circle. And every time Mark Steele plops out a, a bit of content onto his bit shoot, we can reach in to the, the cosmic toilet bowl of life with our thickly gloved hands and fish out his, his latest offering, dissect it, put it on a plate and, and allow everybody in the universe to admire what nonsense Mark Steele has created. See the red burn behind him? He's a scout master. I've got another one with a pony hat on and the little, the little, the guy who's involved in all of this nonsense is a kid called Toon. Astute viewers of Mind of Steel, and I wonder if there are any other kind, will be wondering, uh, are we getting a sense of deja vu right now? Didn't Mark Steele already do this in episode 19? And the answer is yes. When he first noticed this show, I made a, a little thing poking fun at the fact that Mark Steele was so pathetically triggered. So in all of this time, Mark has found precisely nothing. He has absolutely nothing to offer except for the same playground insults. Counts as well. Now this, obviously, image is the image of a pedophile, okay? 
They use the um, My Little Pony, no different to the pizza, you know, these hidden symbols. They're not that hidden, are they, really? And that's Mark is spectacularly ill-informed, even by the very low standards of conspiracy grifters. Mark hasn't even done the most basic research. That isn't My Little Pony. This is My Little Pony. It's a story of Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, and their friend Spike, as they travel through the land of Equestria, trying to understand the true meaning of friendship. Anybody who thinks that that is My Little Pony knows even less about My Little Pony than they do about 5G, radiation and EMF, which in your case, Mark, is really not a large amount of information. Yeah. Well, what we want people to do is have a look at this, tell us who this character actually is, and let's try and find out what is the, what is the, what's the real game? What is the obsession? What's the game? Well, isn't that obvious? It's reporting on Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. And why the obsession? Well, it's because you continue to do it. So Mark Steele wants you to do your own research, or, uh, but also do his own research, answer questions that if he bothered to stop and think for maybe half a second, could be so easily answered all by himself. He's a lazy, lazy man. Obviously, this mental health patient, because he obviously must be, putting his actual face to a genocidal agenda, well, he could get himself arrested. Now, the police might not arrest him, but I can tell you now, there are other people who may just uh, arrest him. Is this a threat? Is Mark still threatening to have me arrested? He admits that the police would not arrest me because I've not broken any law. But is he proposing to send his Save Us Now law enforcement officers after me? Uh, those guys who wander around with their white t-shirts uh, and their fake police officer badges? Or maybe he's going to send Steen Motley, the most absurd of his acolytes, the one who has tried and, and repeatedly failed to arrest the, the CEO of St. Albans Council. Well, it, it certainly does sound like a threat, but, but one delivered with, with the usual level of comical ineptitude, that, that it, it sort of lands with, with the, well, the same kind of plop as his normal content. Mark, you really are going to have to do a bit better if you want people to be intimidated by, by the kinds of things you say. YouTube for trying to put a post out about some troll, right, some obsessive troll, and I've already I've just been taken down. So, and I lost all my big accounts in the first instance because they didn't want me telling you that the globalists were planning to exterminate you. Well, unfortunately, that's exactly what they're doing, and the only way we beat this is get organised. We've seen how Mark Steele is petulantly upset about this show. He doesn't like. Mind of Steel. And he doesn't like the works of Mohammed Shafiq and MC Toon, the, the original YouTubers who created content about Mark Steele, who revealed him for who he really is. Mark Steele believes himself as a, a renegade content creator, a truth teller who has been frozen out of the world's largest social media because his message is too damn truthful, too damn dangerous. But the truth is that he has been rejected from YouTube. He's been prevented from posting content because he repeatedly encourages people to commit crimes. We've seen how he encourages people to burn down 5G masts. We also saw today how he's asking his fans, his zany league of Savers Now enforcement officers, to arrest me. And that's because Mark Steele is really too cowardly and too lacking in imagination and too pathetically ignorant to, to actually refute any of the things I've said about him. And what can he do? Because all I've ever done is take his words and hold them up in a way that is slightly better presented than Mark Steele would do. So the world can see that he is still Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist.